Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Unsharp Mask node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to edit Unsharp Mask. Now, <laughs> this node is kind of a utility node and it's really not too exciting, but what it does is it's used to sharpen only the edges within the image. I know it says unsharp mask, but it really sharpens only the edges, but then adds weird blurry to it. It's kind of hard to explain. So what I'll do is I'm just going to bring in some other media so we can zoom in extremely close to this line. And I'm going to plug in our unsharp mask and bring it in. So on the Unsharp Mask node, you've got the ability to select which channels you're working with. You can lock your X and Y when it comes to the size. And if you change this, you can independently scale your X and Y size. But your size is kind of changing the sharpness or unsharpness of edges within your image. And then the gain is shrinking them or making them larger. So it's almost kind of like opposite of what it's telling you. <laughs> so, and then the threshold gives you the actual threshold of that, what it's actually sharpening. So not an exciting note. And you can use this if, if blurring is too much and you just need to soften your edges a little bit just to get rid of that harshness, you can use this or get rid of some of that anti-aliasing that's, that's going on with those pixels. It's a great note for that. But uh, let's make something cool with it. So let's get rid of this. And let's plug it into our media after we refresh it. And our media has this weird flashing going on in this dress. So we're going to use that data to pull information and do some cool stuff. So we've got it plugged into our unsharpened mask and I'm going to change up our size add our gain and change our threshold. And all I'm looking for is to bring these edges on that dress. You can see it's got that white edge. I'm just trying to get those out. And there we go. That'll work. So we just got a little more information pumping out. And the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to mask this out so we're not capturing any other data. So I'm going to input a polygon. Let's kind of mask around this. And that's good. Not going to spend too much time on that. So now we've got that masked out. Now we're going to take a bitmap. And yes, use your luminance and we're going to crank it. And I kind of knew that was going to happen. That's why I was bringing that mask in. We don't need it to be super perfect. Not for this one. But we do need to get rid of all that weird edging that's going on. And there 
go. So we've got our bitmap and we're going to go from our bitmap to a background. And before we do this, let's uh, merge our footage. Bring that in. Because what we're going to do is, first, we're going to change the color of this. So let's kind of keep within our uh, color palette here. We'll pick one of these colors here. And now we're going to use the same polygon to mask everything else out. So now we've got this going on. So her dress is kind of shimmering a different color, kind of like those uh, satin dresses with different color rhinestones or whatever. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> we're just doing something. So now we're going to add a glow. I'm going to stick this in after my background. And we're going to up this glow. Change our glow size, not too much. Down. And we can even use this polygon for this. So there we go. We went from this to this using the unsharp mask to create a mask and you can always come in here and change your color to whatever color you want and it's just a different way to get different looks without having to use masks and keying and all that other stuff so just to show there's multiple ways to do things in fusion so that is the unsharp mask I will see you in the next No Breakdown.